All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys basically uh, who you guys should pick for the gateway of reunion that you're going to be getting basically every single month now. And um, we're also going to be covering the best units to pick, right, um, in the other tickets, right, that we get from the keys, okay? Now, I'm obviously going to talk about the elephant in the room in a separate video because I think it deserves its own video, and I want that to be separate and also take a bit more time to come out so I could have my full thoughts on the matter and make it as good as possible and, you know, make a good uh, delivery so maybe Garena could actually change something in that. Let me know down below your problems with what they did, either with the key or how they have Gateway of Reunion or how they changed the monthly, but for now, all we're going to talk about is who exactly you should be picking and why okay we're gonna get into it pretty detailed in a lot of teams and future teams that i could see actually uh coming out so let's start with this and talk about basically gateway reunion so basically um right now i would have reset it just to at least show you like everything but i chose it before and i can't actually reset it until I hit the milestone. So as you can see here, there's points up till 1200 down below. And actually this is going to be really huge for me. I am definitely going to take that. Now, um, you need to get to 1200 to unlock your mage. Okay. So this is going to be done over a long period of time. All right. A long period of time. Usually it could take about a week to two to actually get it but because it's only old units and not new units i really don't think it's that deep okay if it was obviously the new unit you want to use it right away but this is really only going to be for either reruns or to get well, reruns i mean to get uh previous old units or to get dupes on old units right so um it's really just certain basic things like using stamina memory tickets doing normal challenges so grinding 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 then here uh fishing sending gifts which you know i mean i guess we'll do that right now um oh I guess he already did. I think I chose this after everything happened. I think I did that today. Uh, buying items at the world shop, explore, purchase items, and then get dailies. Um, the dailies is usually one of the best ways to actually get it. So make sure you are doing your dailies. And then the gear stuff. So disassembling, upgrading, and enchanting, design, uh, collecting gear, and then transcending. So I feel like transcending is also a very easy way if you have the gold. Um, so you could see... Now, once you collect 1200, you get all these rewards. And once you get all four of the rewards, you actually unlock the mage you picked. And you can reset it during, okay, when you get one, two, three, four, okay? You could reset it four times. You will receive chances to reselect your mage based on the milestones reached in the Gateway of Reunion. However, if you obtain all the milestone rewards, you cannot reselect your mage, okay? Keep that in mind. So let's talk about the best units to actually choose. Now, number one on this list is very obvious, but if you don't have her, it's going to be this Mimosa, okay? It is definitely going to be this Clover Mimosa. She is just good, very, very good in a lot of teams mono green. She works off of mono green in any type of uh, team comp where you want to just keep your DPS alive or res them and res and res. This one, this Mimosa works, right? Even with Black Divider, I'm using her right now in real-time arena and she's working very well. So this Mimosa is great because of her res. And I dupe too the ability to give two SP, uh, one SP every time it's her turn. And if you run res gear on here, which basically this gives 50% uh, mobility and four SP when it, whenever an ally dies to a healer, and she's a healer. So she's basically going to be going quicker and getting four SP. So when it's her turn, she gets six SP, which means if she has even two SP, she alts. Or if Valkyrie Noel gives the SP buff too. So she can literally get back eight SP in one turn if an ally dies, if she has Valkyrie Noel's skill to absolute territory. or abs Yeah, something like that. So uh, yeah, she's going to be very, very good. Okay. Now, uh, I don't know why I actually uh, went out there. Besides that, Charlotte is just a very uni universal unit to have. Now, something to note is that there is a new Charlotte coming up, but she is an attacker. This is a supporter. We're going to get more info on uh, Red Charlotte later today. Okay, so I will be streaming that. So stay tuned for that, actually, um, because I will be uh, streaming and all that good stuff, right? Now, um, besides that... Surprisingly, if you don't got Clover Mimosa, she's a really good option too, just to have another res unit. Um, so you don't even really need to have her in with dupes, okay? You could actually just go for level 125, zero dupes, and you're fine, okay? Now, why you, you would want 125 is for that taunt immunity, so she could always use her alt no matter what, right? That's the main thing. So she could alt and res. This is very good. Under the same concept of having the res gear, that Mimosa would work, okay? So, like, of course, there is um, Charlotte too, but, like, she, she's so universal, right? She really just is that universal unit that, you know, you really... You would like, you would always, always like to have, right? Always. Now, I want to say quickly, Dark Vanessa, not really that worth it. 
if you didn't get her already um at this point like i always thought she was kind of just uh like a free unit to use for the first month she came out um she was going to be very good that first month but now the units that we're getting it's just going to be very difficult for her to be as crazy i'd say you can of course get her she's not going to be horrible if you want her maybe later down the line that's fine but for right now i really think you have better options now talking about better options in pve kohono okay kohono is for sure gonna be very very good in pve okay um by the way in terms of the other units you need zero dupes on mimosa mimosa this over time you could get her to two dupes charlotte minimum two dupes okay and then this kohono i mean uh, kohono works even at zero dupes but her dupes are pretty nice it's just, I don't know, like, you could get her to two dupes. Like, getting her to two dupes, if you really want to prioritize PvE, works. But if you're not trying to, like, go high on world boss, because obviously ranking doesn't matter anymore, you just need one copy. You need one copy, and then she's going to be good in all the raid stuff and everything. So, one copy for most of you free-to-plays is going to be more than enough, 1,000%, like, easily. Easily more than enough in a lot of those cases, okay? You really don't need that many copies on her, if I'm being honest. Now... Um, this is something that obviously you're able to even like, you're good. You're going to be able to change it before Raya comes out, but it seems like, uh, if you're wanting to use a uh, third eye Raya, this William is going to be very good with third eye Raya. Okay. And he doesn't need any dupes. The dupes don't really give him crazy things. Oh, oh, this is going to help Raya a lot. Wow. This is going to help Raya a lot. Okay. So yeah, he gives protection to Raya, and obviously the Third Eye Raya, which is the previous, uh, set two videos ago, actually, I'm posting a lot. Uh, so basically, Third Eye Raya has immortality, and having, um, what is it? Where is it? Huh? Oh, here it is. Having a protection for two turns on an immortality unit is very strong, because it stops them from being targeted, slash also, um, what's it called? Stops him from being hit and immortality removal on Raya if you have Raya max dupe. So yeah, if you're planning on max duping Raya, if you're planning on full investing, you might want to keep William as one of your options for the seasonals. Now for a skill page, honestly, you don't even need it really. I'm going to be honest, you might want to build him with HP and other things in the future. So even going for this might not be too good because this obviously depends on his defense which you might want to build with hp in the future so keep all that good stuff in mind but uh william is an option if you're trying to go for raya because that mono blue team actually seems to be pretty pretty good right so like yes you can go for magna quick quick you can go for magna i just don't think it's a great idea because we're getting two blue dps's literally very soon and then uh there's obviously going to be two new red dps's so he's not going to be on the mono red team in the future um uh, from what from what we're seeing and then there's two blue dps's coming out so yes he is pretty good right now but long term this is not really one of your best options uh if we're being honest okay so just uh do keep that in mind okay do keep that in mind i pretty i'm pretty sure we went over like every one you should get from that Okay, pretty much everyone. Um, that, that's basically it. Now, in terms of the skill pages, actually, no, I lied. We're going to have to see, right? Same with Defender William. This is not confirmed. It should not be your final pick. It should not be your final pick. You might want to change it later. But Charlotte might be very good with Raya too because he, she has counterattack. She, if she's at max dupes, that's a two-turn counterattack. And if not, it's fine. Honestly, if she's not max dupe, it's okay. Reason being, you could spam the skill one to keep the counter attack on. It's just if she's max dupe, it makes her a lot better. But it's still going to be good because she's still going to be very quick. And you're able to use this skill to give the all attack on Raya. And in certain team comps, it's going to be very good. So keep her as one of your options for the uh, third eye Raya team, but not a necessary option. Okay. Now then, we already talked about it in the event video, but I'm going to talk about it again being the skill page selector. Okay. Because you have all these. So I'm going to talk about it. First seasonals, uh, hers is going to be bad now because Raya does extra damage per buff. And this gives an AoE buff to everyone for magic attack, which means Raya is getting an extra 20% damage if all these magic, attack, magic attacks proc. Okay. Kohonos is actually very good because it gives Kohono SP. I'd say the best one for most people is actually going to be Kohonos because it gives the SP and then a little damage increase over time. I would say, by the way, like having uh, Kohono skill page in the uh, SP is going to be very good. So for me personally, I'm putting Kohonos and then uh, I'm trying to think. I, I am uh, trying to think on this one. So I feel like Yami's would be the best for me personally, but for most people, obviously not really. I just feel like Yami's is going to be quite good. Um, I don't need any others. So I think it is going to be these two. Yeah. So Kahono should definitely be in here. 
uh, for many people. And you better hope you get it because being able to start duping that one out is really, really good. Really, really good because you get 5% damage increase every time uh, you dupe it out, which is going to be 5% more damage from the alt too. So uh, giving to your person, right? So that, there's that. Now, um, besides that, um, there's not like that many. Okay, there's really not that many, if I'm being honest. If you want to maybe max out Magnus skill page, go ahead. You never know. But like, I'm not, I don't think you should, it should be a priority uh, pretty much at all. Okay. Now, weirdly enough, if you're trying to use like a mono blue or like a funeral team comp, this Clover Noel might be useful with the skill page only because she could remove stun. And a lot of the times, Raya might be getting stunned. I'm talking about on a Raya team comp. So I'm giving you guys options, but I don't think you should really go for this just yet. If you are going to maybe, if you're considering it, maybe wait for Raya to come out to see, right? I'm giving you guys options for when Raya actually does come out, okay? And Red Riddle, the thing is with Red Riddle is that uh, we have a pretty much a full new mono red team with funeral coming out, uh, and Red Riddle is not really going to fit on it right now having vanessa's is not bad because she gets extra damage reduction so keep that in mind plus the total defense so if you want this one it could be good because you know uh damage reduction for two turns like that that is actually pretty good for sure um now vettel's could be good because it gives uh increased fortify level i think or it adds a damage reduction and then it puts this so having vettel skill page at least once if you are getting the vettel 125 is not a bad idea obviously i'm just spitballing ideas and you guys if you want a more precise between like two units you let me know because obviously i can't really compare two units specifically but that's basically it i wouldn't really say many others but to note is that guldri skill page puts the protection for up to two turns when before it was one so if you are planning on using guldri uh because you saw him work in the tournament there is that but besides that i wouldn't really go too crazy on anything else that's basically it for that um i'm going to talk more so about the mage selectors in another video because it's a bit cringe how they actually handled it but I digress. But yeah, we see all the seasonals here. We talked about the ones that would be good. That's basically going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know what videos you want. Obviously, I have a lot coming up. Uh, so I hope you guys do watch everything. I will see you guys very soon. Hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful day. And bye-bye.